Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem based on the EMF equation of a DC generator part 1. Subscribe this channel for more videos, soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the problem, a 4 pole wave wound DC generator has 50 slots and 24 conductors per slot. The flux per pole is 10 milliweber. Determine the EMF induced in the armature if it is rotating at a speed of 600 rpm. So based on the given data we need to find the EMF induced in the armature. First we will see what are the data available. The number of poles is given as 4. It is given as wave wound DC generator. So, number of parallel path is always equal to 2. For a wave wind, it is number of parallel path equal to 2. In case of lab winding, number of parallel path is equal to number of poles. But here, given wave winding, so number of parallel path is always 2. Then, number of slots is given 50. 50 slots are available. So, conductor per slot is 24. So, 24 conductors available in each and every slot. So, that the total number of conductors equal nothing but, Z is nothing but, conductors per slot into number of slots. So, the conductor per slot is given as 24. In each and every slot, 24 conductors are available. So, there are 50 slots are available. So, 24 into 50, 1200. So, the number of conductors equal to 1200. Right. So, the number of conductors calculated from two data, conductors plus per slot into number of slots. From that, we calculated there are 1200 conductors available in the generator. Then, flux per, the flux per pole is 10 milliweber. So, milli means 10 to the power minus 3. So, 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 weber. And speed is given as 600 rpm. So, these are all the data available. Now, we will go to the induced EMF. Only one parameter we need to find induced EMF. So, the formula is pi n z divided by 60 into p by a. The pi is nothing but flux. n is speed. z is number of conductors divided by 60 into p is number of pole divided by a parallel path. Number of parallel path. So, all the data are available. The flux is 10 into 10 to the power minus 3. Number of conductors we calculated 1200. Then speed is given as 600 rpm divided by 60 into number of pole is 4. Number of parallel path is equal to 2 because of wave winding. So by simplifying this we got 240 voltage. The EMF induced in the generator is 240 voltage. Now we will go to the second problem. An 8 pole DC generator has 500 armature conductors and useful flux of 0.5 Weber per pole. What will be the EMF generated if it is lab connected and runs at 1200 RPM? What must be the speed at which it has to be driven to produce the same EMF if it is wave connected? So, originally it is a lab connected, for that we need to find the EMF induced for the given data. And one more question is, what is the speed for the, for the same EMF induced, what is the speed if it is connected as a wave connected. Now, we will see the given data. So, first we will consider the lab connected, the original it is lab connected. So, the number of parallel, number of poles equal to 8, P equal to 8. So, number of parallel path, A equal to P, number of parallel path equal to number of poles, that is equal to 8, because of lab connector. In lab connector, number of parallel path equal to number of pole. Then, number of conductor given as 500. The flux is 0 0.05 Weber per pole. And speed is 1200 RPM. For this data, we need to find what is the EMF induced for a lab connector. So, the EMF induced the formula is pi 
n z divided by 60 into p by a flux number of conductors speed divided by 60 into number of parallel path divided by number of number of pole divided by number of parallel path right flux is 0 0.05 and the number of conductor is 500 it is rotating at a speed of 1200 rpm divided by 60 into number of parallel number of poles equal to 8 number of parallel path also 8 right so by simplifying this what we got 500 voltage the emf induced for a lab connected for this given data is 500 voltage now with this 500 voltage and given data now we need to go with a wave winding if the same machine is connected from lab winding to wave winding what is the em what is the speed of the motor what is speed of the generator when it is wave connected the important thing is number of parallel path equal to 2 right for a wave connected always irrespective of the number of pole the parallel path is always 2 the speed for the same emf right we know the formula for emf e equal to pi n z divided by 60 into p by a right now we bring this all other term in the left hand side except the speed so that e into 60 into a divided by pi z p equal to n right the 60 and a is brought in the left hand side numerator this pi z and p is brought into the left hand side denominator right so from this we can write it as n equal to e into 60 into a divided by pi z into p right so these data are already available only the parallel path is now considered as 2 this em of induced we already calculated for the lab binding is 500 right so that you need to substitute all the value em of is 500 into 60 into number of parallel path equal to 2 divided by flux 0 0.05 into number of conductors 500 and the number of pole equal to 8 so by simplifying this what we got 300 rpm so for the same machine for the same emf when it is changed from lab winding to wave winding we calculated the speed as 300 rpm so in this video we discuss about the emf induced in the dc generated part one we discuss the two different problems for uh, this second problem, first we consider the lab winding, we calculated induced EMF. With that induced EMF, then we changed it into wave winding. For that, we calculated, num calculated the speed of the DC generator. Right? So, subscribe this channel for the more videos. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. Link is given in the description box. Thank you.